Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. In this video, I will show you how to protect your API with OAuth 2.0 and how to generate a new OAuth token as well as how to invoke the API with the newly created or newly generated API token. And without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so as usual, first I'm going to select this uh, pet store swagger that we've been working on. And as you can see currently, it is in the version number 3 and we will need to create a new revision. Select Save as New Revision. And it's now released and make sure that you're going to deploy it in this test environment. Click on Deploy. All right, so now let's go to the develop tab. And here you can see that the policies that we have so far is the uh, verify API key. And we now need to uh, detach this one by clicking on this uh, cross icon. And you can also see that once it's removed, you can now see that this is the broken link. All right, so now we are able to add a new one. So let's just look for the OAuth version 2.0. So this is the one. And uh, I want to also rename this one as well. So OAuth verify token and click on the add button. All right, so this is the one and you can also see um, the XML code here as well. So we got the display name, uh, we got the uh, operation verify five and uh, more here all right so now uh, we can just click on the sale button okay so now I want to quickly show you whether this is actually working or not go to the trust tab and start a new trust session so I'm going to use this uh, link again now click on the send button we can now see that we got the 401 uh, status code which indicate that we are not authorized um, also when I click on this uh, circle icon let's just take a look at the content of the error it says that uh, it is an invalid access token um, also right here it um, mentioned that this is the OAuth version 2 invalid access token so that means that uh, it does require the access token to be able to uh, try to hit this to get the response from it okay so that's a good starting point okay so now let's just try to stop this one and going back to the API proxies so by default uh, RPG does provide this one the OAuth uh, proxy so you can also see the author name here as well so now we need to deploy this one in the test environment so just click on that one and click on the test environment. Are we uh, sure that we want to deploy this version? Yes, I want to deploy. Click on the deploy button. Okay, so it's um, deployed successfully. Um, now we need to generate a new OAuth token and how are we going to do that let now just uh, head over to the apps and right here this is the uh, retail app and this is the key as well as the secret so uh, right now I'm going to show you this too so this is the uh, consumer key and this is the consumer secret Alright, so the next step that we are going to do is to copy this uh, key and I just copy it here in the uh, notepad and as well as this one. So this is the secret. And what are we going to do next is to basically add a colon after the uh, key here and also this one. We just combine these two together. So this is the um, key and this is the secret. 
All right, so once we have this, let's just copy this one. We're going to convert this into base64. And this is the website. Um, this is the base64encode.org. So just paste this one right here. And we're going to click on the encode button. So right here, so this is the encoded uh, six, base64 value. So I'm going to again, just paste it right here for now. And the next step here, uh, we will need to um, add the endpoint and also we're going to use the post request with the header with uh, along with this value right here okay so now let me just quickly grab the URL so right here I'm going to go back to the API proxy uh, swagger pet store all right so let me just copy this one. I'm going to paste it for now. So we're going to also, we, we only need this front part and the uh, URL. So let me just uh, finish typing this one for now and then uh, I'll show you. All right, guys. So here, this is the URL uh, slash O of client credential access token grant type uh, client credential right here. So right here under the header, I'm going to add the authorization and this is the value which basically we get it from uh, here or coming from here as well so let me just paste it in and in front of here make sure to put the word basic and the space in between okay so um, right here this is the post uh, request also I just want to mention that uh, the O off here it has to be deployed otherwise you get an error message so now let me just click on the send button and here we get the access token that we want which is right here so this is the important information uh, right now I'm going to just copy and paste it right here so this is the access token and once we have this let now try to get the endpoint that we usually use to hit. So going back to the Swagger Pet Store. Okay, so this is the URL. I'm going to copy this one and uh, change this to the get request. And I'm going to paste it right here. So this is the URL, Swagger Pet Store, store uh, slash inventory. Um, right here, this is the same. Uh, it's still the authorization, but the thing is that right here we need to change it So we no longer need this This time what we're going to need again like um, if you already know some basic of the O of it's normally start with the uh, word bearers and then space and this time we're going to use the uh, access token that we got from uh, the generations um, now we get this let now try to hit this endpoint and see if we get the successful response okay so here it is uh, right now we get the status code of 200 meaning that it is successful so if I try to change my access token to something else say in this case like D then we can see that it is an invalid access token so that's uh, how we uh, try to generate and let's just uh, go back here and again we still get the success uh, response and that's pretty much how we invoke the API with the newly generated token and also let me just uh, start a new try session and then try to see uh, what we get like what the flow look like so again I'm going to use the same one click on the send button uh, status code 200 and right here so we let me just this like this one so we have this um, this is the O of verified token we get the access token right here and see this one as well with the authorization right here and this is the uh, hidden value the token and this is the URL that we hit okay so right now the next step I want to show you is to basically remove the authorization header uh, because it is like a best practice to remove the header 
or any other information that is not relevant to the backend service uh, before we say we invoke the uh, backend service. So then uh, it is recommended to remove the authorization uh, header after we use it just to ensure that the token never uh, leaks out of the uh, RPG. So that's um, also a best practice to follow. And now let's just uh, try to stop this one and I want to show you how to assign uh, the uh, message. So to do that, let's just uh, go back to the developed. And currently we have this one, which is the OAuth policy. And now let's just try to add a new one. This time I'm going to use the assign message, which is right here. So let me just rename this one. Assign message remove of header so this is the one click on the add all right so this one right here uh, we may not need all of this so let me just remove the unnecessary information we remove this part we keep the remove header right here add set This are not required. Um, again, this one we need the remove header header, and this is the name that we need to replace. Uh, ignore, whatever. Yep. So now let me just uh, replace the name right here to the authorization, which we're going to remove this authorization header um, once we use the this policy okay so seem to be fine to me all right so now let's just click on the save button all right so now let's just uh, click on the pre flow you can now see that we have two the first one is the uh, OAuth uh, 2.0 the verified token and this is another one which is remove the off uh, header using the assign message so we have uh, we now have two policy. Um, let me just try to hit this endpoint again, just to show you whether it's still working. And yep, uh, you can see that it's a two hundred uh, status code. But the thing is that once we use this authorization uh, header, then it just remove before hitting the uh, backend services. Okay, so now we have all of this. Um, I think let me just one more thing. Let's just try to probably switch back to the uh, verify API key just in case that we want to you want to know how um, to switch back to the previous one. So let's just uh, remove this one. Click on that and try to drag this one into this uh, pre flow. And this is the previous one. Click on the save button. And that's pretty much it. Just uh, try to remove and drag it like that. So this is what we uh, first look before getting into this video. Again, let's just quickly go back. Right here. Save button. And try hitting this again. Okay, still working as expected. Alright guys, so this is the bonus part. I just want to quickly show you uh, using the Postman this time. So again, this is the URL that I show you, which is the, the same one. And what I'm going to show you right now is to try to generate the uh, access token using the Postman. And it's a little bit different from the RPG uh, REST client. So the uh, right here, the request is still the same one, the post. But right here in the authorizations, uh, we can select the uh, basic off and instead of converting this uh, right here, the key and the secret into the base 64 like this, we are able to just use this directly. So in the username, just paste the uh, key and this part right here, this is the secret just use this in the 
uh, password field and now let me just click on the send button to see if we also get the uh, access token from this so right here you can see that this is the body um, with the status uh, code of 200 ok as well and right here we get the access token which is this one here so this is uh, another way that we can also generate the uh, access token uh, using the postman with the uh, authorization of the type basic off and I think that's pretty much it guys um, if you have any question just let me know um, I hope you also learn a lot from this tutorial as well uh, if you like this video don't forget to hit the like uh, button and share this video until then see you guys in the next video